Hi, my name is Addie Harris. Um, I have decided to report on an author named Dennis Johnson who wrote the short story that we read in class, Dirty Wedding. Um, a little bit of background about the author. He is an American writer who was originally born in Germany. He moved um, all over the world with his family to the Philippines, Japan, um, and the suburbs of Washington, D.C., and eventually ended up going to school for writing um, in Iowa. He got his B.A. from there and had his first piece published by the time he was 19 and later went on to be a finalist um, for the Pulitzer Prize in writing. The story that I decided to write about um, was one called Emergency. Um, the plot is very much back and forth between um, reality and these hallucinations that the two main characters um, are having because of um, drugs that they're taking. So the story opens on both of them working in an emergency room. And um, the main character, who is the narrator, walks into the room where Georgie, the other main character, is supposed to be mopping up blood from an operating room. And you can tell immediately that something is wrong because um, Georgie is under the impression that there's so much blood that he can't clean it up. And the main character is saying, like, what are you talking about? There's no blood here. Um, and then it's later described shortly after that um, he was stealing pills and that he was taking combinations of things. Um, and the narrator takes it, and at first you think that he's doing that um, to, you know, take the drugs away from him, but he's taking drugs himself as well. Um, so the whole story is kind of this um, hallucination of both of them. Um, the next thing that happens is that this man um, comes into the emergency room with a knife in his eye, and um, part of the dramatic part of the story is when um, Georgie, who is um, not exactly a custodian, but he's in charge of prepping things, um, is supposed to be prepping this man for surgery and comes out of that room with the knife in his hand. And um, there's silence among the doctors, and um, then the story just kind of skips forward past that um, to a break that they have, these two men have on work. So they're working two doubles in a row, and they have eight hours off between them. And so the majority of the rest of the story takes place during that break. Um, so the next thing they do is get into a car and start driving around. And you definitely get the impression that they're not sober and um, their thoughts are just kind of like scattered and they're going like in and out of these moments of reality. Um, one of the things that happen is that they run over a rabbit and decide to pull over. Um, Georgie, who is driving the car, wants to um, eat it and so goes to, um, to cut up the animal and um, finds that there's baby bunnies in it. And so what they decide to do is take the baby bunnies and the narrator has them in his shirt to keep them warm. Um, but then because of this going in and out of reality, he completely forgets about them. Um, and so the next kind of time you hear about it again is, is too late. He's already forgotten and the bunnies are dead. Um, but between those two points, they come across something that the narrator originally thinks is a military graveyard, but actually ends up being something quite different. Um, it's a drive-in movie theater. So um, towards the end of the story, they are driving around and they have kind of this somewhat lucid conversation about what they think that they do. And um, Georgie ends up saying, you know, my job is that I save lives. And that's kind of where the story ends. Um, the reason that I chose this piece in the first place was because I really liked the way that the, the story Dirty Wedding um, that we read for class was written. Um, I remember some of the, the symbolism and metaphors that were used um, just being very, it was, it was over the top in the same way that it was not um, relatable in, in, a, in a normal sense, but it was very um, interesting and poetic, I thought. Um, so the, the story Dirty Wedding was the week that we were um, reading stories about abortion. And this one was particularly about a man whose um, fiancé or girlfriend decided to have an abortion. And the story kind of detailed the after effects of what that did to him. And just this kind of downward, downward um, spiral into depression. And um, the similarities between the two stories are 
the way that the characters deal with the adversity going on in their lives. Um, so on one hand, you have something um, that you can't really have a lot of control over in some sense. Um, this girlfriend of his who um, had an abortion, which is implied that it was her choice, um, decides to leave him, um, marries another man, and then commits suicide. And all of these external kind of unpredictable factors are affecting the main character. Um, in this other story, the, the main characters are choosing their reality, their sense of reality, by taking drugs. Um, and that is affecting the rest of the story and their entire mindset, kind of. Um, so it's an interesting parallel, I think, between those two stories because um, the main characters are being affected by a type of um, perspective that isn't necessarily um, how we would deem normal, I guess, and clear, um, but it is their own reality. Um, so at the end of both stories, um, there's kind of a resolution, at least in an emergency, there seems to be um, a little bit more of hope, where the rest of it is very, it's very flat, neutral language. They, it's very um, just kind of sullen and um, somber, almost like um, desensitized to like these horrific things that are happening. And um, like in the emergency room and with the, with the bunny, just kind of like grotesque things that are just kind of seem like they aren't a big deal at all. And um, at the end, when he says that his, that when Georgie says that his job is to save lives, there's this sense of like, maybe this isn't so um, horrible. Maybe this isn't such a dreary life. Um, so I guess just kind of in conclusion, that quote at the end, my job is to save lives, um, really stuck out to me because I think it puts in perspective that whole idea of like, there's external things that can affect us, and there's, like, things that we can affect. Um, gosh darn. Uh, it kind of puts into perspective that there are, there are external things and there are internal things that affect our realities. And the way that we deal with them is what makes us who we are, really. Um, and so I really enjoyed both of the stories. I really enjoyed this author. And um, I hope to read more of him in the future.